Hey everyone. In this video I am going to paint this Indian ethnic portrait. So let's start. So I usually paint skin tones that are lighter than mid tones and it's not that that I favor a particular skin color but I am actually uh, more comfortable with mixing lighter skin tones and those uh, subtle value shifts because of this simple reason that with lighter tones you can add more opaque paints like white or yellow to maintain the opacity and the consistency. I'm using this opera pink because there is a lot of bright pink color which is kind of hard to mix. I don't use this much because because it's created around C for light fastness and is fugitive as per their official website. You can thin down gouache like watercolors. I think they look the best when used as gouache and not watercolors. So when you're working with within the darker range or the range above the midtones, it becomes a bit trickier to maintain that thickness and do not disturb the layer below the new layers of dark colors. White is considered the most opaque thing on your palette, especially titanium white. I've seen this also with other mediums like oil paints, that it's best to keep the shadows and darks thin or the lighter parts of the painting to be thick. But what about if it's not just the shadows, but the whole painting is to be painted in such a way I have painted this type of skin tone before, of course, but I think I have conditioned myself thinking that maybe it's difficult to paint it without browns like burnt umber or burnt sienna. So I'll share my way of painting it without compromising uh, with the consistency of the paint. For the face I'll start with the darks or the shadows first like always. Even though I want these tones to be more solid, still I think it's better to not layer darker colors a lot because they sometimes lose their depth and I feel depth has a lot to do with transparency and it can also turn chalky. I'm painting this layer mindfully so that I can leave some parts as is later. Usually what I do is paint the whole layer again but in this case I'll focus more on the shadows and darker tones and leave the mid tones and lighter tones as they are and just add highlights. I 
and this is the way that i found works the best with these uh, skin tones first first layer then working up the shadows and tones darker than mid tones and then just add highlights and remember for the lights i'm talking about highlights and not lighter tones uh, because when you add lighter tones on top of these uh, skin tones it won't come together as much and will look separated from the rest of the face uh, like the paint is just sitting there like the lighter part under her eyes her chin is from the initial layers i will not touch it a lot i'm not saying you cannot do it at all but then you'll have to paint the whole layer and not just these lighter tones for it to come together nicely this is how i do it with minimum layers Since we are talking about consistency of the paints, uh, there's one more thing that you can do, which I've been doing lately, is painting thin over thick, just like glazing. And since it's just water, it will evaporate, leaving the pigment behind. But keep in mind that with the pigment, it will also leave the texture behind texture of that thin paint and that may or may not go with your style i don't mind it but that's the thing to keep in mind like here what i did i tried to paint something that looks like it's made out of wood for my background but once it dried it looked too bright and saturated so i toned the color down with thin layer of this brownish dark color and you can still see the colors underneath this layer i only use this to make my values darker without changing the color too much So that's all for today and I hope you will like this video and I'll see you in my next one.